the coronavirus. The only thing with more mutations than Rudy Giuliani. There's good news in America, as cases and hospitalizations continue to fall. But with dangerous coronavirus variants spreading around the country, the race is now on to get as many people vaccinated as quickly as possible. Which is why in Massachusetts, they started doing this. Starting today in Massachusetts, vaccine eligibility begins for friends and family members who accompany a person who is 75 years of age or older to their vaccine appointment. Only one companion per person is allowed to sign up for this vaccine appointment at a mass vaccination site, regardless of their age or health. Hell yeah, Massachusetts! Oh, this is just like the club, but the exact opposite. The shots are free, and if you have your grandma with you, you get in right away. But yes, anyone can get a vaccine in Massachusetts as long as they roll up with someone 75 or over. Now, you know what this means, right? It means everyone is gonna wanna make friends with old people in Massachusetts now. In fact, they should just make this the next season of The Bachelorette. Who will get Gladys' syringe? Stay tuned to find out. And this could also make for some awkward situations because this is when the grandkids find out which one is the favorite or that grandma has been having an affair with the pool boy all along. I love you all equally, but Javier has abs of steel. And look, I know there's gonna be a run on octogenarians now, but if you ask me, we shouldn't need any more incentives to hang out with old people. Guys, old people are the best. They're full of wisdom. They usually have free candy in their pockets and they have lots of practical advice about defeating Nazis, which, is super useful these days. But America isn't the only country taking creative measures to combat coronavirus. They're also making big changes in France, AKA horny Belgium, where office culture may never be the same. Employees in France will soon be allowed to eat at their desks at work. Currently, the French labor code actually prohibits businesses from allowing employees to eat meals in areas that are dedicated to work. But the labor minister will be making the changes as part of new COVID restrictions as employees return to the office. Now, it could signal a change for our country with a very strong work-life balance, with one French woman telling the New York Times the amendment is, quote, a catastrophe. I agree. This is a catastrophe for French culture. First, they start eating at their desks, and what's next? Working at their desks? Sacre bleu! But this is kind of wild. Apparently, up until now, it had been illegal in France to eat lunch at your desk because they think if it's allowed, workers are gonna be pressured to do it instead of taking a lunch break. Not to mention, it's really hard to get fresh ground pepper out of a keyboard. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really surprised to learn about this rule. I mean, I would have thought that if anyone ate while they were working, it would be the French. I mean, their main pastry doubles as a phone. Allo, Margaret, I need those documents on my desk by the end of the day. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, magnifique. And finally, a story about some people in the Caribbean who were quarantining a little too well. This morning, three Cuban nationals are recovering after being stranded on a remote, deserted island for five weeks. The married couple and another man were found on Anguilla Key, a small island between Key West and the Bahamas. We actually discovered them waving uh, next to their um, a temporary shelter that they had built for themselves. Pictures show the shelter the three had made. With little food and water, they reportedly survived off rats and conch shells. Good Lord, people. That sounds absolutely traumatic. To be on a beach and not be able to Instagram it? Whew! That is a punishment I wish on nobody. But yeah, that's right. A married couple and another man were stranded on an island for 33 days. And the person I feel worst for is the other man. Because not only are you the third wheel, but once that rat supply dries up, you know you're the first thing on the menu. Why are you guys, why are you guys looking at me like that? Do you guys want to have, like, a threesome? I mean, something like that. But for real, actually being stranded on a tropical island seems way less fun than they made it seem on Gilligan's Island. I don't remember ever seeing Marianne walking around covered in rat blood. 